Hello, folks. Hope all is well. So today, um, let's talk about prediction. And I'm going to speak about specifically um, a very quick prediction technique you can use. And, and basically, you're use, using Rashi and Bhava progression. Okay, this is a Nadi technique. Um, so here we're going to see how we can time events with a quick glance at the chart. Yeah. And today I'm going to use examples focusing on the marriage event. I'm going to show you two examples. But of course you can use this technique for other events. Uh, property purchase, starting a job, setting up business, moving abroad, all of those things. Yeah. So... Let's get started, yes? It's basically, as I said, it's a Nadi technique that I had learned years ago, and I still use it to predict events. And it shows beautiful results. Um, it's very easy to use. You can very quickly surmise what to expect during a particular birth year of your life. That's what, that's how we do it. Um, and you can use this technique in various ways, depending on how deep you want to go, because there's certain, there, there are different layers of it, right? There are layers that you can peel off one by one, and that will deepen the analysis. I'm going to use two charts, as I mentioned. Right, so I'm going to share my screen with you so we can all look at the charts together. Okay, so here we go. Now, here I have the chart of both of them are actually celebrity charts. And this is the chart of a man who um, actually is quite famous. He's quite he's a he's a movie star. And I looked at his chart to use as an example, and it will show you actually very clearly when his marriage took place. And he's still married to the same woman. So we're just going to talk about the first marriage here. Yes. So how we do this. Well, you start with the bhava or the sign, which is determined by looking at what year you are running to see when an event happened in your life. Okay. So what was getting activated in your, in your chart when that event transpired? Like which house was getting activated in that particular birth year? Then you see the planet sitting in that sign, in that in, in, the, in that um, bhava, right? That gets activated at a, at a particular age. And then you see the ruling planet of that particular sign. And then you go deeper and you look at the nakshatra lord placement of the planet that was sitting there, right? And then you see the natural karakas of the house and the planet that's getting activated, right? So then you can see how we come to the analysis without the need to use dashas or transits. But what I do is um, just for completion and for getting the, like, the big picture, I also look at the dasha just to confirm and the transit at the time of the event to confirm as well. Yeah, so you can do that. So that, that's just another layer. Basically, that's just another layer that you're seeing, right? Um, so we're peeling off one layer after the other. Right, so let's get started with this. Chart number one, this gentleman was born in December of 1954, right? He's an American celebrity. His marriage took place on June the 21st, 1983. And as I mentioned, he's only been married once. Okay. June of 1983 gives us Rahu Moon. Okay, so now how we're we're gonna we're gonna figure out how this how this happened here. How did Rahu Moon give the marriage? <clears throat> First thing to understand is when we're calculating the birth year <clears throat> that the person is in, we count the year that was running. Okay, so let's take this one step at a time. 
So first you see what birth year is running. And of course we're doing this in retrospect because we already know what happened at that event, right? But you're if you're looking into your birth chart and you wanna know in the future, oh, well, let's see what looks like a good year that I'm gonna get married or what looks like a good year that um, I'm gonna move abroad or I can have luck setting up my own business, that sort of thing, right? So first you look at the birth year that's running and it's a simple count. I mean, you understand it's very easy to actually do this, to count the number. You just basically you're counting this way as you would normally, right? Like this is the first house, which for him is Virgo. And then you're counting this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13, you land back up in the Lagna. Not 12, but 13, right? But this is the 13th year running. So when he turned 12, we back, we we we're back in the Lagna. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 25th year, we're back in the Lagna. Now remember, this is the 25th year, but he's just turned 24. So this house here virgo represents the year 24 to 25 that's important to remember all right and then again it goes and then number 37 lines up here so again that's from the birth year 36 to 37 so 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 you can do this in your own chart as well right and like you can go and look at your life and see what events happened and what house got activated what planet was sitting there so 37 we land back up in the lagna and if you do this again you'll land back up in the lagna at the age of 49 but it's not 49 when you turn 49 rather when you turn 48 so 48 to 49 so here it's 36 to 37 that's important to remember so we go back to this example right one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. Yeah. Twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine. He was actually the age of 28 when the marriage happened, but it lines up in Capricorn because it's the 29th year running, right? So this is from the age of 28 to 29 is Capricorn is activated. He was 28. Why? The marriage happened in June 1983 and he's born December 1954. So he was actually at the age of 28, but the 29th year running. So we're, we're landing up in Capricorn. Now, so let's analyze it. The moon is sitting in Capricorn. Yes? So we know that Capricorn is getting activated. 29th year. And for anybody, for everybody, the 29th year running for anyone in anyone's chart activates the fifth house, right? For him, this happens to be Capricorn. So we have to see where is the Lord of Capricorn, not Saturn. Where's Saturn gone? Well, Saturn has gone into the second house. Saturn is sitting in the second house in this chart with Venus, the Karaka for marriage, the Karaka for wife. Second house is also something that we look at for marriage, right? In Capricorn itself, the moon is present, which happens to be the 11th Lord, the 11th house. And the 11th Lord is what we also look at for marriage. And it also happens to be aspected by Jupiter, which is the seventh Lord. And we also look at the seventh house and the seventh Lord for, for marriage. So this one is an easy example. Two, seven, 11 are getting activated at the event of marriage for him. All of those are houses that represent marriage event. Yes. Now we go deeper. Okay. Now we look at it from the moon sign. From the moon sign, the moon lagna, which, is, which becomes the first house, right? Here it's a quick and easy analysis. 
The Karaka for the marriage event we take as Jupiter. The Karaka for the marriage, like the uh, the the partner in his case, the wife is Venus. So from Moon, Jupiter is in seventh from it. Right. And from moon, moon itself is the seventh lord. Right? And as I mentioned, Venus is the Karaka of wife getting activated because it's sitting with Saturn, who rules Capricorn. Jupiter is the Karaka for the marriage event itself, for the ritual of marriage, the ceremony of marriage or the committed relationship, and that's going seventh from the moon. Okay. In Nadi Jyotish, Venus is considered to be the wife and Mars the husband. Mars is the, the Karaka for husband, okay? Let's go one step deeper. Let's look at the Nakshatra Lord placement from the Lagna and from the moon, okay? So we can peel another layer here. Now, the Nakshatra Lord of the moon is the moon, because moon is sitting in Shravan. So that was easy. Yes, moon, seventh Lord, from the moon itself is sitting in Shravan, so that, that we don't even have to go any further. Then we see the Karakas of the planets involved. Here, both Karakas are activated, Jupiter as well as Venus. Yes. And if we see the Dasha running at the time, well, he was in Rahu, Moon, Rahu. Right? And we know Rahu, Moon, we know that Rahu can, Rahu is the marriage Garaka anyway. And in his case, Moon is the seventh Lord from the Moon itself. So it's no wonder it brought marriage. Okay, so let's do another chart. This is the chart of another celebrity, um, and she recently got married, okay? It's a film actress in India, and her birth details are March 1993. Marriage took place on April the 14th of 2022. Now, in her chart, it is the 30th, she was the 30th, the 30th year running. So in other words, she was 29 at the time of the marriage, right? April, 2022, she was born March, 1993. She's 29 at the time of the marriage, but it was her 30th year. So what does that mean? The sixth house was activated. And we can count it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, back at the Lugna. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, right? Again, remember, we're landing at 30 here, but it's the age from 29 to 30, yes? the 30th year, but she was actually 29. I, I keep emphasizing this, I know, but I think that it's important because it's very easy to, to miscalculate because of that one small mistake. So the sixth house is getting activated in her case. Straight away, we see Mars is sitting there. Mars, which is the Karaka for husband in Nadi Jyotish, as I mentioned. And then we see, where is the Lord of Gemini gone? Well, the Lord of Gemini is Mercury gone into the second house. Second house is also what we see for marriage. M who is Mars in her in her chart? Well, Mars is the eleventh lord, and we again we see the eleventh house and the eleventh lord for marriage. So already we can see that the two and eleven houses 
are getting activated. If we see it from the moon perspective, Mars becomes Lagna Lord as it rules Scorpio, right? Now we see the Nakshatra Lord placement, right? We see the Nakshatra Lord placement of Mars because Mars is the Mars is the planet that's getting activated, right? Because we're talking about the sixth house getting activated. So Mars is sitting in Ardhra, which is Rahu's Nakshatra. And where is Rahu gone? Well, Rahu is gone to the 11th house. So again, Moon and Rahu in the 11th house. 11th house getting activated. And from the Moon, from the Moon, right? The Nakshatra Lord of that Mars is in the first house. Right? Moon and Rahu are in the first house. So 1, 2, 11 are getting activated. And of course, let's not ignore the fact that from the Lagna, the moon becomes seventh lord. Right? Seventh lord in the eleventh house. And who is activating the 11th house? Well, the ruling planet of the 11th house is Mars, sitting in the sixth. So there's a relationship with that Mars, and Mars is making a relationship with that Rahu also sitting in the 11th house. Mars, Garaka for husband is getting acted. But what about Jupiter? Right, Jupiter is the Garaka for marriage itself. Well, it's interesting because in transit, the day of the wedding, right, which was, let's pull that up, which was April 14th, 2022. Isn't it interesting? Because in transit, Jupiter had just entered Pisces. Literally like a day before the marriage event, Jupiter entered Pisces. And from Pisces, obviously, Jupiter makes a connection with the natal Jupiter because it aspects it, but it also connects with Venus. As well as aspecting these two planets, Moon and Rahu. So that Pisces Jupiter triggered the event here as well, right? Saturn was transiting Lagna, the day of marriage. And finally, she was running Venus Dasha, right? Venus Dasha, Rahu Dasha, both, both marriage makers. And isn't it interesting because the day of the, the, day of the wedding, it was Venus Ketu Rahu, which is in perfect alignment with the houses that were getting activated based on her birth year. Just based on her birth year, that's all. So just want to make it wanted to make this quick video. Hope you enjoyed that. As usual, feel free to leave your comments. All the best folks. Take care.